True Blue Salutes are brought to you by Landmark Implement and Pony Express Chevrolet Gothenburg, Pony Express Ford Minden. With this True Blue Salutes, I'm Alex McAvicka on the Rural Radio Network, and joining us is McKenna Model of the Palmer FFA chapter. McKenna, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you guys do a cool thing within your FFA chapter called the Heifer Project. Tell us a little bit more about this. Well, this kind of came about about my eighth grade year. We just had a new um, advisor come, and so she's kind of getting into stuff. And so one of the ways that we wanted to get involved was to get a heifer. And so I got on the committee my eighth grade year, and that was kind of just the really, really beginning stages and how to, like, where are we going to put this heifer? Where are we going to keep this heifer? Are we going to get a barn for her? Like, like all the little things that, like, we need. And so then um, I got off the committee for a couple years, and my grandpa, who is the advisor before, he had – he runs a fencing business, and so he offered to help us with building the fence for our heifer and getting the supplies to help build the fence and all that good stuff. So right now we're at a point where um, it's kind of a standstill because we got to get a time where we can go and build the fence. We have our shed there that our heifer will stay in eventually once we get one. There is power out there, so we just need to kind of build the fence and get the heifer, and then we're kind of set. McKenna, this is an opportunity for your FFA chapter to really dive in uh, to livestock production. Walk me through some of the skills you guys hope to learn as FFA members. Well, this is like a huge responsibility because, I mean, you're taking care of a cow and eventually a calf. And so that comes with feeding, watering, and which is calving. you got to be checking her often, making sure that if she is calving that everything goes smoothly. And this will be good for, like our animal science students to learn about reproductive things and animals. And it'll be, it'd be just a really fun project that we get a lot of learning things out of. Yeah, definitely. McKenna, I want to learn a little bit more about you and your FFA experiences. Tell me more about some of the things you do. Well, my family, we have a cow calf operation ourselves. So I am pretty involved with, you know, calving and animal reproduction and all that stuff. Um, and so in FFA, I'm our chapter's reporter, as well as um, we had LDEs and we did well at LDEs. I do public speaking in LDEs. And so I was fortunate enough to qualify for state in that. And we're getting ready for CDEs right here around the corner. And so, yeah, it's just been really busy right now. But yeah, I think it'll be a great learning experience while we, once we can get this off the ground. Yeah. McKenna, it sounds like as a sophomore, you have already been a great role model for uh, your FFA chapter. What's your advice to those maybe not involved in the program yet? My advice to anybody who's thinking about joining FFA or is in FFA but doesn't really do much yet is take the opportunities that you get because they will take you great places. Because like I never thought I'd be a public speaker and here I am qualifying for state and like my proficiency that we just had interviews yesterday, my proficiency qualified for state in um, diversified livestock. And so I was really proud of that. So take all the opportunities you can because those will take you some great places. Great advice. McKenna, I know you're only a sophomore, but what does your future look like? What do you hope to pursue? Um, I'm thinking pursuing ag ed and going to the University of Nebraska in Lincoln and hope to become an ag teacher and FFA advisor. And then I get to give my new kids opportunities like this. Absolutely. Great things to come for McKenna, I'm sure. McKenna, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Alex. That again, McKenna Model joining us of the Palmer FFA chapter for this True Blue Salute on the Rural Radio Network.